The purpose of this video you're about to see is to show you how to inspect, clean and maintain your respirator. Having a well-maintained respirator is key to keep you safe from the hazards in our workplace. So here in carbon, you potentially could be exposed to chemicals and hazards such as spent cell lining, coal tar pitch volatiles, hydrogen sulphide gas, sulphur dioxide, uh, silicon when we're dealing with spent lining of furnaces, and general dust in the environment. In the pot lines you will run into people who have black filters and in those situations it is important to call out your teammates and get them to change their filters. On a personal level it is important to be checking your filters every shift because if you are doing tasks like cell dressing where you have a high exposure to dust they will clog up your filters a lot faster and you'll be able to smell it through your filters so it's just important to be cautious and listen to those signals. It is essential as a team member that we have a good clean well maintained respirator. The reasons for this is to ensure that we don't expose ourselves unintentionally to the chemicals that we can find ourselves working with um, in both our dust stream and our cover stream. These chem chemicals can lead to long-term illnesses like industrial asthma or cancer. As a maintenance team, we are potentially exposed to a wide variety of hazards. Um, we work everywhere from green carbon to pot lines and, and everywhere in between. If we are relying on our respirators as our last line of defence, um, potentially in some of those situations, then it's absolutely critical that we've got good care and maintenance, good cleaning um, and understand how that respirator works. One of my grandfathers actually um, contracted tuberculosis as a, as a young guy. Um, and as part of that, he actually had about a third of both of, he, of each of his lungs removed. That reduced lung function um, eventually led, led to him um, passing it at, a, at an early age. Um, although not an occupational illness, um, it, it's very relatable to uh, what we do see um, for people who are exposed um, to certain chemicals or um, certain hazardous substances over a length of a career. So today I'm going to be showing you how to clean and inspect your respirator. On site, the most used respirators are the 3M Ultimate FX and the 3M 6000 series. So the first step is to inspect your facial shield of your respirator, ensuring that there's no cracks or punctures. The second step is to check the head straps, making sure that there's no degradation to the silicon. And the third step is to inspect the silicon mask, making sure that there's no discoloration or damage. So the second step of inspection of your respirator is to check your filters and cartridges. So particulate filters should be changed as required if they're visibly dirty or inhalation is restricted. When putting your filter back into the cartridge, always ensure that the writing side is facing the cartridge and you cannot see it. For both components, if you can smell or taste contaminant, they may need to be changed sooner. So do not wash cartridges or filters and replace any damaged retainers. So the next step is to disassemble each component of your respirator so that it can be cleaned. If your respirator is broken down into each compartment, we'll clean the respirator components with a baby wipe. So it's essential when cleaning each component that you check underneath the valves and check them for any damage. We want to clean around and underneath the valves. We have an exhalation valve at the front of the respirator. It's essential to clean in and around, underneath, and over the top of the valve. For the mouthpiece, there are two valves inside. Make sure that these valves are not folded over themselves and clean in and around each part. To clean the main component of the respirator, we want to wipe the external of the face shield inside around the mouthpiece, around the silicon mask, and inside of the face shield. We want to ensure that we get off all soiled contaminants around the face shield and that each component is cleaned thoroughly. So if your respirator is heavily contaminated, it needs to be cleaned in warm soapy water, no greater than 50 degrees Celsius. So you'd submerge each component into the warm soapy water. And then you want to clean each component with a cloth or scrubbing brush, ensuring that you get in and around each part of the silicon mask, over the screen, ensuring that your valves are clean in and under, and that your facial mask is cleaned in and around. So to dry your respirator, 
you want to wipe each component down with paper towel. You need to ensure that the valves are removed so that they can be dried on both sides. Wipe each part down and leave it overnight to dry. Now that you've all seen and learned how to maintain your respirator, let's all make sure we clean and maintain our respirators as required and at least at the end of each shift block. Wearing a dirty or unmaintained respirator is similar to wearing a seatbelt which is torn. It is not going to protect you when it needs to.